Hey, welcome back to Everyday Blessings. If you're new here, my name is Nina. I'm a homeschooling mom with five kids at home and six kids total. Here on my channel, I talk about all things homeschool from tots to teens in real life. God didn't make me Pinterest perfect. I don't try to pretend to be. So days like today, you'll catch me with no makeup. At my house, it's a mess. Most days, you'll hear my kids squabbling in the background because they live here and this is real life. I just kind of like to keep it real around here. Okay, so today, oh boy, it, it, it's, not, it's not pleasant outside. It is like 34 degrees. The winds are going like 30 miles an hour and it's snowing. We got teased with like 60 degree weather last week and then boom, 90% chance of snow today. Great. Today is also National Napping Day because it is March 15th, the day after Daylight Savings. So it's just a strange sort of like unmotivated day. I am unmotivated today. I got up, I got dressed. Like what else do you want from me day? But it's all right, it's okay. We're just going to take it easy and not force anything today. We're gonna do school still, but we're just gonna take it easy. We're not gonna do anything super rigid. Not that we ever do anything super rigid. But I'm not going to expect a whole lot out of my kids because we're all off from this time change. And even though it doesn't seem like, okay, it's just an hour, like we sprang ahead an hour and we did it while we were sleeping, it shouldn't affect you that much. It does, it, it does. It's just weird. It's just a wonky start to the week. Today's video is also part of a collaboration, so stick around and see who I'm collaborating with. In about five minutes, we're gonna do some reading, okay? Yeah, good. Okay, and then it says. Okay. And it says, what do you read? Today's video is a collaboration hosted by Amanda over at Mind Your Matters. Also, jumping in on this collab today as part of March Madness is Mary Beth from At What Cost and Housewife Simple Life. I'm gonna leave all of those channels linked down below. And I'll leave the playlist in the description box too. I don't know if you can hear that, but that sound is hail hitting our windows. It's so gloomy and gross outside today. It's definitely a perfect. Stay in and read books day. Today's collab is about family scheduling. So this is a look at how I make sure everybody's appointments are being met and we're all on track for our doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, OT, speech, counseling, all of the things. 
it's a lot of work because we're scheduling for five children and my husband and myself. Not to mention like vet appointments for the dogs and things. There's a lot going on. Add in any sort of auto mechanic anything, it can be super overwhelming. So on Sundays, I usually sit down with my planner and I go through, okay, what are our regular standing appointments? I know that on Wednesdays, we have back-to-back -back speech and OT. I know that on Thursdays, we have Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. And then I kind of plan everything else as much around those things as I can, whatever our standing appointments are. On Wednesdays, we used to be going to Bible study, and since COVID hit, that kind of all got wonky. So we haven't been doing that. But I do try to set aside time on Wednesdays to do something Bible study-ish at home, just ourselves. That in itself is a lot. There's a lot going on. But then my husband's work schedule is not always the same every single day or even every single week. So I have to schedule around those things too. If I'm taking one of the kids to an appointment and I cannot take all of them, I schedule that around when I know my husband is going to be home. That can be tricky. So the best way I have found to schedule all of these appointments and all of these life things and not double book ourselves is to utilize a Google Calendar. I wasn't sold on it at first because it was, I like my pen and paper, but right now it just doesn't make sense to take a pen and paper everywhere with me. And it's not just me doing the scheduling. My husband is scheduling too. So if he's out and about and making an appointment, then he's able to just very easily put it into the Google Calendar. Then if I pull it up because I'm going to make an appointment, I can see like, ooh, this day and time doesn't work really well because we have this going on, so why don't we schedule around or whatever. Hey, puppy, it's about time that you start taking care of your own scheduling. What do you think? <gasps> oh, puppy says, I'm not even trying to hear it. No. Okay. What else, puppy? Puppy says, you just do it. As she changed her clothes all day, Princess Bess would sometimes say, What I really want to wear is a secret I cannot share. Until 
I wish we had some sweet cold ice cream. Say vlog. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us on this day in the life. Yeah, it's super cold outside and gloomy. So we are going to snuggle up under some blankets and do some more reading. <laughs> and what's better than snuggling with puppies on a gloomy, snowy, poo-poo day? I want to thank Amanda over at Mind Your Matters for hosting this collab. Thank you. Check out her channel. She's super sweet and super awesome. I'm going to leave all of those links in the description box down below. And guys, not every day is easy, but every day is a blessing. Have a blessed day.